continuation ng ating four story school building design okay sa previous topic okay na tayo sa loading okay naka generate tayo ng reference load seismic definition then mga load cases okay kasama na doon ang mga load combinations sa drift service and ultimate with vertical effects okay then nito dito tayo sa analysis and print so, click mo lang to lalabas yan click mo lang add then you okay next is lagay natin yung sa drift drift checking ito yung sa post print and click define commands yung load list natin sa drift is ayun itong drift na load combo piliin mo lang yan and then transfer doon click add close yan yun na yung load list ok tapos define commands ulit story drift ok sa story drift factor ka related na yan dito sa ating excel yun story drift 0.0042 lakit mo na lang yan dyan 0.042 click add Oops. yun ok and then another command pa is itong center of rigidity so lagay natin yan close ok so yun after nito run analysis tayo ok click analyze run save check natin kung may error wow error Okay. May mga warnings dito. Iyon yung sa UBC. Okay. Check natin. Floor diaphragm. Yun. Tignan natin yung diaphragm niya. Center of mass. Ito. Center of mass. Ang width ng building natin is 9.5. So, half noon is around 4.6, 4.7. Yun. Titignan mo dito yung center of mass in every floor yan or level. Okay naman. So, nasa 4.6, 4.9. Sa along, along longitudinal direction naman ng ating structure, 55 meters yun. Half known is 27. Yeah. Right Then, soft story check. Yun. Ito yung status. Okay naman. No soft stories detected. So, okay naman siya. Sa drift. Okay. Pass naman sa drift. Okay. So, meaning yung column natin na point, point 0.5 by point 0.5 from 3rd floor to 4th. Okay siya sa drift. Okay. Kasi kung nag-fail yun, yeah, adjust natin yun into 60 by 60. So, ang magiging 0.5 by 0.5 na lang is yung support floor. Okay. Center of rigidity. Ito, change lang natin yun dito sa ating editor. Perform analysis change. Okay. Dito yan sa my earthquake. Yan. Load combo na earthquake EX and EZ Load 1 and load 2 So per ana change Automatic na yan uh, oh. Per ana change Then per ana change Okay Click save Close Okay yan Okay, may error lang ako dito sa may seismic definition. Okay, 0 0.04 yung nilagay ko. Dapat ay 0 0.4 lang. Okay, tuwin na natin yan. 0 0.4. Again, sa Philippines, dalawang zone lang tayo. 0 0.2 and 0 
yung zone point 2 is mga all of Palawan and Tawitawi and then the rest is point 4 so ito point 4 change lang natin okay close yeah. so turn analysis okay so again pag may changes always run analysis lagi analyze okay view natin yeah go to results and then isa sa i-check natin dito is yun nga yung sa seismic check natin yun okay I-check natin to kung tugma to dun sa ating Excel file. 2147.6.31 Ganyan. 2147.6.31 Yun. Then yung ating load V. Seismic load V dyan is 7379.94 Yun. So, 3789.94 yun, and then yung ating weight na yun check natin sa ating total dead load na ating structure, so dito tayo sa post processing yan. then apply natin yan, okay then dun tayo sa reactions yan Papem. so yun na yan 21476.31 total dead load okay so, balik tayo dun sa ating model. Yun. So, okay na tayo sa analysis and print. Na-check na natin yung drift. Soft story. And na-verify natin yung ating seismic force na V. Okay. Next tayo is design na. Okay. So, mag-design na tayo. And ang gagamitin nating program is Staad RCDC. Okay. Okay. 